Hello guys and girls, uh, today I want to show you how I do a uh, forklift installation. It's a uh, forklift made by Hyundai and it's uh, a little bit uh, different type. So I'm going to show you a step by step. First I installed a, uh, an antenna bracket. It's a 90 degree or L bracket. Um, I run the uh, coaxial cable kit through the um, air conditioner harness. It goes into the cabin. I tried different other options in here. I think this is the best, uh, best option. Of course, the antenna is being tuned. Uh, I use a special grease in here. It prevents the moisture to get into the, uh, there is a spring right here, into this uh, device. Then the antenna, the antenna coaxial cable comes in here. I have to remove a panel, a trim. Uh, I, ran, I ran the cable here behind the uh, driver's seat. There's uh, one of the panels that opens. So you attach the uh, coaxial cable with some tie wraps nicely and you get into the uh, fuse panel area where uh, the fuse panel area which is uh, on the left hand side we run the cable the coaxial cable in here of course the extra cable I can uh, trim it or I can just loop it in here there is a, a 12 volts inverter, so 24 to 12 volts DC inverter. We tap the power. See, this is the power cable for the radio that comes through a split loom. Uh, we use the fuse on both, on a ground and positive, and of course we mark the fuses. And um, we tap into the 12 volts output of this converter. You have to figure out how to do it. Also, I use a ground lug in here. Um, so I have the coaxial cable and the uh, DC power. They both come in here. One, I use a grommet. I've used the uh, radio bracket. I haven't put all the screws because I want to show you. Uh, I'm attaching. I'm attaching the. Um, the power cable to the chassis to prevent uh, getting it loose and coming in the way. Because the microphone, you can install it whatever the driver wants. And also, I'm using a uh, small clamp to prevent the driver to pull the, the connector. It's uh, a, the connector is prone to be damaged. Of course, I'm going to put the, uh, the screw, the ICOM screws, back into the bracket. The bracket I attach it to this uh, trim on the side for uh, screws that go nicely into the plastic. This is the fuse panel after I put everything back here. Uh, you won't see any type of uh, work being done and it's everything like factory. Nobody uh, will complain about warranty. Now this is a radio after being uh, tightened, all the screws are being tightened. Uh, these are the radio and the part, everything is provided by the customer. They remove it by, by themselves from another old forklift. And uh, usually I do clean up everything here, I clean up the radio. But these guys are uh, uh, in a production facility where they have to use this machine as soon as possible and that's the the way I've done it now you will do it way faster than me because I showed you some tricks thank you